Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and in the power of his might. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Raka Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into the bubble of faith, okay? The bubble of faith. And what I mean by that is in this world, man, it's like a realm within a realm. When you think about it and when you really understand what faith can do, though you have people on this earth that are very carnal, walking around just like you, breathing like you, but there's a level of faith and belief that puts you in a whole nother bubble, man. And I ain't talking about just repeating scriptures because, you know, that scripture, he saw going into slavery. Hey, those are all good things. But the thing is, there is a centerpiece of this truth that has to be magnified and understood for you to really feel that power that I'm talking about in this lesson. OK, so let's read the scripture again. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh Bashim Shai, and in the power of his might. Let's go into strong in the blue letter. Strong's G, 1743, and Dunamao, and Dunamao. To be strong and do with strength, strengthen, to receive strength. Right, so in other words, the scripture is saying, receive strength in the Lord. Okay, that's how you be strong. You have to receive the strength. Okay, to be strengthened, increase the strength. All right, so let's go back to the scripture. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, meaning receive strength in the Lord and in the power of his might. Now, check this out. Let's go into Hebrews chapter 11, verse six. And I'm going to give you an understanding on this. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who is to him? Yahweh Shai. For he that cometh to Yahweh Shai must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right, man. Now, let's go into impossible. Now, check this out. We're going to go into impossible in the blue letter in the scripture. Strong's G-102, Adunatas, Adunatas. And it says, without strength, <laughs> impotent, powerless. So in the other scripture, it said to receive strength in the Lord, right? This is saying that it is impossible without faith to do that. So if you don't have the faith, then you become without the strength. You become impotent, powerless, weakly, disabled, unable to be done, impossible. You see that? So when you go back to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, let's go back to it. Read it all over again. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Receive strength in the Lord. Receive faith in the Lord. And in the power of his might. That's where that power comes in, man. That's where the faith bubble comes in. Without this, man, you're not going to be in that faith bubble, man. To be illuminated, to have that power, to walk like that, man. Nothing bothers you, really. You go through your pain and tribulations. But overall, you're like, man, you know what, man? Everything is in your how about you, Shah's hand. And you walk that way. When you read about the ancient prophets, man, King David was in that bubble. Yahweh Shah number one was in that bubble. OK, Daniel was in that bubble. Many prophets. OK, Elijah, Elisha was in that bubble. Peter, he learned, man. See, when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, Yahweh Shah was teaching him to be in that bubble. And also the other disciples, like on the ship. OK, different places and different things that happened to do what? To teach them, look, man, come into our bubble of power. Our bubble of faith. Understand what this is. OK, so you really got to understand this and it's truth. All right. From there, let's go to Baruch chapter four, study verse one. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All that it keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Right, man that you may be put in that bubble, all right? In that bubble, that powerful strength, faith, believing bubble, man, that anything is possible because you're in that bubble, your heart, your mind, okay? This truth is about faith, man, all right? The saints shall be justified by faith. They shall live by faith. Now, we know faith is dead without works, right? So 
Your works plus faith is going to determine all this, man. How you walk, how you think, okay, how you encourage others to walk, okay? Back in Ephesians chapter 6, we're going to go back to verse 11. It says, put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the whole armor. So in verse 10, it says, be strong, be strengthened in the Lord with that faith. Then verse 11, put on the whole armor of your high by Shema was shy. Okay, meaning walk and step into this bubble fully so we can be all around you 100%. No wavering, man. Faith, belief. Believe that we can do that if you believe it. Okay, so put on the whole armor of your high by Shema was shy that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, right? The tricks of the devil, the deceit of the devil, man. The lust that he tries to put your mind in motion on daily. Okay. All these evil things. Now let's go into whole armor in the blue letter in this scripture. Strong's G 3833 Panoplia. Panoplia. And it says full armor, complete armor. Right, man. That complete bubble. And it's all spiritual, man. Okay. Includes shield, sword, lance, helmet, greaves, and breastplate. Right, man. The whole thing to go to war, man. Fully equipped. So how do you be fully equipped? Get fully in that bubble, man. No wavering, no doubting, only believing. Okay, only believing, man. So put on the full armor, man. That's very important. And that is a process. Okay, it takes a lot of exercise to put on that kind of new man, that spiritual man. Okay, the scriptures tell us about walking as to choosing the light. You only can do that by putting on the full armor. Point blank period, man. There's no other way around that. All right. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of your Yahweh Shai, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod, meaning your bind, OK, with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all. Now, this is the key in verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, well, with you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right. Not a couple, but all. And that's how you do it. You got to get in the faith bubble. But. Before you're able to do that, you got to get rid of doubt. You got to get rid of disbelief. Okay, you got to be bold in your Ha'abashim Shai. Okay, either your Ha'abashim Shai is dealing with you or they're not dealing with you, man. Ain't no middle. There's no gray area, man. So if you're walking, talking, acting like, hey, man, they're dealing with me. I'm a son. Okay. Well, then act like it, man. That's the point of this lesson, man. Act like it and get in that bubble. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of only believing and that's it. You can't lose that way. All right. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh Shai. Now, Yahweh Shai being the word, check out what he said in this scripture. Let's go to Mark chapter 5, starting at verse 35. While he yet spake, that came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troubles thou the master any further? As soon as Yahweh heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And that's what Yahweh was about and is about. Okay? He was about that back then, and he's about that now. Yahweh Shai. Being in that faith bubble, only believing in them. In your Yahweh Shai was shining that power, man. Okay. But if you don't believe and if you are wavering and scared, man, you're not going to really receive that power and understand and taste it, man. Okay. We're in the time frame right now where you got to be very, very headstrong, walking, talking and being this way boldly. All right. So I hope you're edified. Just want to exhort all you Akim out there and you sincere sisters. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakah Kodash. Forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elves of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh, my that is doing the truth and sincerity. 
Shalom.